Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Tour 3 as I just. In previous episode we managed to conquer the the rest of Ethiopia here, which uh, we did in two wars. We are having a bit of a uh, lack of things here though. Uh, mostly tools, I suppose. I mean, over here we got a... Why do we have no... Hold on a minute. Why do we have no market access because there's a plot? Okay. Alright, alright. So that's why we're losing a lot of money. Because nothing can get anything. At this stage, I'm almost tempted to just declare independence just to get out of the Prussian market. But I suppose that civil war will probably be over in due time, I hope? Question mark? The war hasn't even started yet, but yeah, no, we're making massive deficit over here. Alright then, uh, Egypt. I know that I can't call the independent, or I can't demand independence. They wouldn't accept that. They got a lot more troops, admittedly. We got 165 battalions versus I've got a 49. I might actually have a few extras to be fair. Now that I think of it, because we've got oh the contribution center should probably be switched as well. So we got, no, we got 49. We got five more being built right now. But like I do believe I've actually got a bit better quality of troops. If I can just hold, just hold on to my ground in here, I could potentially just you know slowly force them out of the war. And get my independence, but I don't know if they uh, accept that. Plus, uh, first we need to kind of make sure that this uh, radicalist uh, movement, uh, wanting to get some wage subsidies or some foolishness like that, doesn't just uh, get out of hand, let's just say. But I think it's uh, slowly reducing the radicalism. I suppose it's just a large part of that is uh, the fact that we've got six and a half million radicals right now, which is more than one third of our total population. So we've got the triage. I don't think we've got the opium to actually do much about that. I mean, there might be a tiny bit of opium, but I'm sure that the Egyptians are using all of it. We could go for the baking powder. Or in the society, we could go for the psychiatry now. Actually, I'm going to go for the psychiatry, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that one. It's going to reduce the bureaucracy need for... I think it's uh, going to be affecting basically this one. Investment level from population... I'm not entirely sure. It could also be just the cost to integrate things and all that. All the people from incorporated state, that's also a possibility, I suppose. But regardless, we'll do that one. We're currently improving relations with Russia and Prussia. Prussia is trying to hurt our relations, though, so that's not great. And it looks like the radicalism is growing again. Uh, oh, rulers wrathful, so that increases by quite a bit. And then 76 from radical. Oh. 78 from Radicals, okay. Yeah, we suddenly just got... Oh, okay. I can't... Ah. Okay, okay. We're losing £50,000 because of this Prussian war. At this stage, I don't have a choice other than call a war against in or for independence. Now, the question is, will my 40 battalions be enough to fight against? Like, I know that the Egyptians have a bit of troops in here, but actually, those are not skirmish... Oh, infantry, they're okay. I think we can do this. It's a risky proposition, to say the least. But if I call for independence, I'm at least out of the Prussian market, which allows us to get a lot more of uh, tools and everything going, which I'm pretty sure... No, that's still considered Prussian market. Okay, so that's even worse then. Right, so I may have made things... Much more worse than what it was supposed to be. Let's just put in both my armies to defend over there. And then can I leave the Prussian market? I don't know if I can. Because, yeah, we're still part of the market. And now we're losing 65,000. Thank you, Prussia, I guess. And the revolution is most likely going to happen. In which case... Um, hmm. Can I call anyone in here? There's a lot of nations leaning towards Egypt. I suppose if I back down, I'll see what well, they don't have um, opening move yet. So now we've got a bureaucratic shortfall about to happen. We are going to get the revolution. I suppose I could try past this one again, which is going to slow down things. And it's going to go down very slowly. So this is actually going to be keeping the revolution at bay. Landowners, intelligence and industrialists are all very unhappy right now. So now we're losing 75,000. Thanks, like, just this Prussian civil war is uh, causing us a massive issue in here. Not going to save scum or anything, but man, is this 
infuriating, especially since we can't leave the market either. Can I declare interest? No, I mean the Nile is the only one that I can declare. Right, so... Oh, they've already got Russia and Britain there. They demand war reparations. I can't fight against three or two major nations and Egypt and then looming bankruptcy in here thanks to Russia. Like, uh, the thing is, technically speaking, my market should be able to at least trade with itself in there, but it won't. So I'm going to have to back down, so that's going to be even more expenditure. Oh boy, this is getting rough. But like the fact that there's just no market. So go Prussian market. Edward, could we just leave from this market? I don't want to be with Prussia. God damn it. And now there's so much radicalism going because no one can get anything. So radicals are just climbing. Okay, this is ridiculous. And now that revolution is starting. So we may need to do... Oh, bollocks. Okay, we're going to stop that one. So now this one's going to start going down slowly. And then that one's going to start. And we can't start... Oh, bollocks. Like, how am I supposed to work with this? And since I can't get independence, I'm currently losing... A lot of money, let's just say. Now, admittedly, we can afford taking a decent bit of uh, credit, but like, it's still not going to be... Okay, psychiatry unlock, good. Let's have a look. Dialects would be more innovation. That would probably be a good idea. Or we could go for more production. Let's get the baking powder, I suppose. Of course, we can't really sell the baking powder anywhere because... Mm, like, why can't I even be on the radical process side on this uh, revolution then? Or for this... Uh, Thing because it's just like I'm pretty sure the radical yeah the radical Prussia is probably gonna win this, but like this is rather infuriating. Okay, so can I call this? Oh, I can actually start that one. Okay, let's have a look. We got eighty percent. No, wait, one more week, so it goes to ninety percent. Then we're gonna try passing this law again, and then the landowners, everyone else, gonna be upset. So they are gonna have their own rebellion. Yeah, this is just a ridiculous situation, and we're getting. We've got already half of our population radicals because of this uh, bloody Prussian revolution here. Like, we started with 6 million, and now we've got an, an extra 2 million. And the deficit is just increasing more and more. Like, th this is not how it's supposed to be. At all. Right, now we've got the poor laws 168. Right, so they started that one. We can wait until that reaches uh, 90%, and then we can switch... Or stop uh, trying to pass this law again. Now we're minus 100,000. Holy crap. Okay. okay. Oh, Prussian market is open again. Okay. So we might be able to just about get the thing. Oh, now we're in the Egyptian market. Okay. Right, well, let's have a look at the Egyptian market then. First of all, am I still paying for the trade routes? No. Good. So those were reset. But let's have a look at the market. So there's no iron. So we're going to have to start reducing the iron use. And I suppose... Well, let's just go over the tooling over here. Let's go crude tools, hand assembly. Now we need to do a lot of fixing, let's just say. But at least we are in the safe market again. That is to say, at least uh, we can have access to the market at all times. And maybe we can... Well, uh, you know what, we'll just go to the all the things at once. So textile mills, uh, we don't have... Um, right, tool shortages in, in a lot of places still. Tooling workshops, I'm going to just go for the crude tools for now, so we don't need to iron or anything like that. And hand assembly. The paper mills can probably stay as is. I mean, the wood price is a bit high. Textile mills, we're going to go with the non-luxury clothing, I suppose, for the time being. I don't think there's going to be a lot of demand for liquor on this market right now. At least a little bit less, so we can get more groceries. That's going to start reducing some of the unrest, I think, because we a lowered fruit price. Uh, we're going to need to go back to muskets, I think, and cannons on the arms industry. The rest of this can probably stay as is. Uh, logging camps we're going to keep as is. Uh, we don't have the... Oh, right, we don't have the coal over here, so we'll just go back to picks and shovels, I guess, on the mines. Because we don't really have another option. And then I'm guessing we can save a lot of money on the ranches. So let's see if that fixes anything. Well, we're not losing 100,000 per week anymore, but we're losing still a lot of money. 
but I think it might be slowly fixing things, like the amount of radicals might be going... Oh yeah, it's turning down all... Right, we've got 40% on this one, I was uh, getting a little bit lost on this stuff there, so that would, mm, that would be a decent bit of radicals. So we are going to have to stop this uh, law soon. But now I think we can slowly turn the... Okay, one, maybe two more weeks we can do and then stop this one. One more week. Uh, right, so wage subsidies, we can cancel that one. So now there's 130 of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is so much radicals. Uniform parties, radical party. Well, I don't... I'm not surprised, let's just say. Did we get the... So if we have a look at the radical party. So there's a liberal party. Radical party is the armed forces, apparently. Then we've got conservatives and then agrarian party. Can I reform the government to be a bit more... Okay, I'm just going to kick petite bourgeoisie and armed forces out. It's probably going to increase the radicals a little bit, but at the same time we can get the legitimacy be high. So that's going to start reducing some of the issues. We also got a bit of an issue over here with the chemical plant. Which, to be fair, we need coal. I suppose what we could do, just double checking that we don't have any trade routes go No. Okay, good. So we're going to start importing some coal from somewhere. I suppose I could import some from the French market. That seems like a good idea. So that's going to be the coal that we need for a lot of places. I suppose there's an, a lot of other things that we're still... So we're making still a massive deficit. But now we're getting the coal that we're needing desperately. So that might be reducing the radicals quite a bit. And I suppose now that we've got a good uh, legitimacy, that's going to start improving the loyalists. So I think this revolution might not happen. Well, I mean, it's currently happening, I suppose. But if we just keep uh, switching between those two... Oh, wow. Um... Industrialists, petty bourgeoisie, and trade unions are all marginalized now. But everyone's very upset because of all of these uh, shenanigans that we have to do. Take all debt from Russia. Oh, yes, please. So now we're losing only 12,000 per week. Now, we did have to give a obligation with that, I suppose. But, you know, getting rid of that debt is going to allow us to get our economy back in order, I dare say. Well, let's uh, start up passing the wage subsidies again. So now we got the... Oh, yeah, that is still happening. Right, we can wait that one for a few weeks. And then we can stop passing this law again. Before it actually goes through, you know. Uh, right, in the meanwhile, let's have a look at the... So the tools at the farms are still very much needed. I dare say. I suppose um, the wine price is pretty bad. If we go for the orchards, we can get maybe a little bit better. I mean, the sugar price is then going to drop quite a bit, but that means that the wine... Oh, actually, wine. We probably don't have a lot of wine sold, or fine arts for that matter, so I'm going to remove both of these taxes. Is there anything else that I... Well, I suppose I could put opium tax back in. So that's improving the situation a little bit, and then let's have a look. We need more coal, iron clad... Well, I don't use iron clads or steamers myself. Luxury clothing is something that we desperately need. I suppose if we were to import some silk, I could produce that still myself. So let's go ahead and import... Silk. Probably from the elements. And let's put in the textile mill over here to produce the luxury clothing. Just getting the luxury clothing, at least in small numbers, will already help a lot. So the radical numbers are back going up again. Hopefully not too much. But it's just the approval rating is not pretty abysmal. Right now, we're just uh, trying to balance between these two things, but at least we got out of the bloody Prussian market. That was causing horrendous issues. Oh, military goods costs. Oh, that's no longer affecting us. Okay, armed forces are slowly getting uh, better and better with us. So one more week. How's the construction going? We're building the railway and... Oh, actually, that's one of the things. We should probably f switch all of our construction back to the old stuff, just to save a lot on the steel price, and that's going to increase the wood price a bit. But the amount of iron needed is going to be dropping. And then we're going to start producing our own tools from iron again, I think. Which is going to allow us to get the tools needed for a lot of the things. So one more week. And then I'm going to stop passing this one. So now it's still 111 in there. So it's probably going to start... Yeah, it's going to switch back to that one. But now we're not losing that much money, actually. We're still paying a lot to... Yeah, almost 30,000... Well, almost 29,000, sorry, uh, to Egypt right now. But at least we're not paying 30,000 extra for interest. So thank you, Russia, for that. 
Right, and it's only the Intelligentsia that is unhappy right now, but no one's particularly happy with the situation right now, but it's just the amount of radicals is massive. So we definitely need to take a bit of time here to just let the things cool down. Uh, we are slowly reducing the infamy as well. I think we're not going to spend too much of the influence. I mean, we could maybe use it a little bit. Let's go ahead and improve relations with Britain again. No, we've got cordial relations. I mean, I suppose we could improve relations with you still. There's definitely room for improvement there. So we're getting the Arts Academies. I don't think the Arts Academies are going to be that much needed right now. Let's have a look at the market though. So what do we have a lot? Sugar, wine. Um, right, well, I mean, I'm not producing the wine anymore, am I? There's the wheat farms in Upper and Middle Egypt. Okay. There's tea that we got quite a bit. I suppose we could... Oh, no, we don't have bureaucracy now. All right, then. That's mostly because we just uh, have um, everyone a bit upset. Speaking of which, let's uh, put this one to be passing again. So there's a bit of an exploit, admittedly. But it's just uh, due to things that were outside of my reach, let us say. I had to take uh, drastic measures with this. So the baking powder is going to be done soon. We can increase uh, the sugar consumption a little bit with the food industry. And... Alright, oh, so that's been placated. There hasn't been a new revolt about the... Or potential revolution about the keep the poor laws in. So we can keep this one in. That's going to start slowly reducing the revolution. And the radical numbers are slowly dropping again. So that's definitely good news. How soon are we going to get the baking powder? There we go. That was very soon. Uh, right. Dynamite might actually be one of those things that we definitely want to get soon. And of course, in military, is there still something level 2? We're getting the Genji Cranes, which will allow the industrial port. We won't be able to produce that stuff ourselves yet. We could cover the dialects, to be fair. That's already spreading, and if we can get that, that's going to increase the innovation gain a little bit further. So we'll keep that underway. Uh, land owners are still a bit... Oh, now there's the preserve uh, poor laws. All right, then. Well, we had a bit of a time there, at least. And now we can just wait another few more weeks before that is... Uh, Sort of fully brewing there. But yeah, the amount of radicals is now dropping at decent speed. I think if we can just keep on with this... I mean, the standard of living did have a quite a massive drop there during the Prussian years. But at least we're slowly recovering. Oh, right, actually. Um, how many battalions do we have total now? So we've got these still okay. Um, yeah, we've got 49 total. I believe we've got six more underway in the construction. Something like that. So that railway is still... Oh man, Oromia has a massive uh, inefficiency for... Oh, there's a lot of turmoil there. Right, that might explain a thing or two. But now at least since we're in the Egyptian market, we've got a little bit better situation. Oh, and it doesn't get enough iron there. Right, I do wonder actually. We've got our iron mines here. I don't suppose that... I mean, nitroglycerin, if we use explosives, we could get more iron. It would increase the mortality quite a bit. Is there still... There's not a lot of extras in there, so I reckon we might not want to do that right now. Now it seems like the radical numbers are growing again for a little bit. Ah, but we've got a bit of authority at least. Let's actually have a look at the taxes again. Uh, we can't afford really lowering any of the taxes, let's be honest. Um, but it's the luxury clothing is 350. Ah, so if we get rid of this one, and put in the class tax, we can get a lot more money. So not going to be taking quite as much debt. And hopefully we're going to actually start building up a bit of a treasury at some point. I think we may need to stop passing this one for a little while again. So now there's 108. Uh, well, I suppose it's slowly getting to the point where the revolution is not going to happen. But we're not there yet. Oh, now we're making money now that the landowner is actually paying. And we are getting the railway in Aromia soon, which is... Well, actually, that does beg the question. Do we have any engines? We have a little bit. We could probably have more, but I don't have the points to get more trade routes in. Already, well, we're importing only five silk right now from the Ottomans, and we are probably... Are we the only one using it? Yeah, pretty much. It's only this one, but it would need ten, compared to the five that we're getting. Very good, it's better than nothing. And if we could get, well, the Arts Academy, I suppose there is probably some demand for arts. How much is there, though? For the fine arts, um, it's pretty much met the needs already, actually. Steel production is a bit of a problem. 
But again, it's just because we... Well, I suppose Lebanon does have um, coal, right? Yeah, there's a coal mine there. So I suppose... Are you, what are you using there? Slaves, picks and shovels. Is there... Oh, market access might be... No, they... Oh, they've got zero market access in here. Do they not have a... No, they do have a port. Oh. Right. Do they not have the convoys, then? I actually don't know why they don't have the access there, then. But regardless, we've still got a bit of a wage subsidy problem here that we're trying to fix. But now we're making money. It's been a while since we've made money. So it's a nice little uh, change of pace, that's for sure. Oh, the industrialists are actually happy for now. Uniform parties, free trade party. Right, so who's in which parties? The conservatives are the clergy and landowners. Then uh, free trade party is the industrialists. Liberal Party is uh, Rule Folk and Intelligentsia, and Radical Party is the Armed Forces. I, well, the Conservatives are probably going to be the winner there, but who else can we pull into the government is the question. And now we're going to have to start passing this law again, just to pacify that rebellion. But if we can start reducing the rate, I mean, I suppose the standard of living is slowly recovering at least, I think. Well, it hasn't really changed that much. But if we can just start uh, slowly fixing some of the issues. And this is now slowly reducing the rebellions there. The landowners are no longer quite as upset, so we're actually still making the money. Of course, we're not getting any of the bonuses in here right now. Intelligentsia is still very upset. We got almost 30 million GDP. Okay, so we, we had a lot higher at one point. But at least it's uh, slowly recovering. We're number 12 worldwide, so we're almost in the top 10. Wait a minute. Do I actually have better GDP than Prussia? I do. Alright then. To be fair, we did inherit a lot of industry in uh, Ethiopia. Which, to be fair, that reminds me, we are going to need a bit more lead mining, I guess. Let's go ahead and build another two levels. I mean, I'm not going to get to this construction work anytime soon. Do we have enough transport? No, we don't have enough transportation. Alright. So, well, we did get the railway in here, but of course that's missing some coal. Which we're trying to buy from the French market, but not literally enough. We've still got 200,000 credit that we need to pay off, but that is at least uh, slowly being sorted. We're also expanding our military a little bit now, which is going to allow us to get to the 55 battalions total. Somewhere around there. I'm probably going to go for at least 40 battalions from Ethiopia and at least keep the 20 battalions from Arabia. And then we can slowly... Well, I don't know. That would be 60 battalions. That's not enough to fight the Egyptians yet. At least it would be an improvement. Oh, now we're making 8,000. All right. So we are definitely recovering, at least in terms of money. And the GDP... Well, the GDP is... Oh, actually, I forgot to put in the... Food industry thing, didn't I? Yeah, that's going to be a lot of extra sugar use, which is going to start improving the sugar plantation profits. Or, well, actually, we don't have that many sugar plantations, necessarily. But that's also going to increase the grain consumption a little bit, but at the same time, the amount of groceries that we produce is going to be massive. So I'm guessing that will be pretty good in terms of profits soon enough. Plus, it's going to start reducing the cost of food overall, which is going to be very, very useful for us. But there we go, that's at least a step to the correct direction. And the revolution is slowly dropping. I don't know if we'll be passing the wage subsidies in here, to be fair. It might pass. It did pass. All right, then. Well, no revolution from that, then. We got the election happening, so the Liberal Party and Conservative Party are probably going to be the two biggest ones. So those might be forming the uh, government after the election. And hopefully that will... I mean, suppose Liberal Party does have intelligentsia and rural uh, folks, so we might be able to start passing some actually useful laws again. We had a bit of a government over here that didn't really get to do much other than pass from one... or switch from one law to another. Or try to sort of uh, just move the papers from one side of the table to another, basically. Uh, so, first of all, we need to reform the government, of course. We could bring in the armed forces, or... Yeah, I suppose we'll bring the armed forces just to keep it... Uh, well, I mean, technically speaking, we'll just keep the Conservative Party to keep the legitimacy up. But I think we're going to go with the armed forces, so at least we could, in theory, try passing some actual meaningful laws. National Guard, maybe not that one. We could try passing the dedicated police force, but the landowners would be very upset about that. Uh, there would be a lot of others who would actually sort of approve that, of course. 
then there's the wage subsidies. I mean, there's the poor laws and no social security that we could try passing, but I'd rather not. There's no better taxation laws that we can try passing right now, so I suppose we won't be passing too many laws at this moment. If we could start getting some of these factions to be happy again, that'd be fine. So the amount of radicals is still slowly dropping. At least as we've uh, reduced it by 150,000 the past year. And we're also getting a bit of loyalists now. So if we could get the loyalist numbers to be at least like half a million, that'd be very useful. So we've still got a bit of a tax waste from the bureaucracy in there. I suppose what we might not... Oh, actually, how far are we from getting... That's five years away from getting Oromia as a incorporated state. We haven't yet started incorporating Amhara yet. So I suppose that's one of the things that I should... Actually, do we have tax waste anywhere? Not yet, but I suppose... Let's have a look. Or Romeo, well, that does have enough taxation capacity. Gondor, on the other hand, does not. So we should probably get a government administration in there. At least one. Now, to be fair, we've still got a lot of construction work underway. So it's not going to be done anytime soon. Even the barracks has taken a long while. What are we doing? Okay, so we're getting furniture manufacturing in Amhara. With the public and chemical plants in Hejaz. Okay, so that's going to get an expansion. That does use a bit of coal, which, to be fair, is very expensive. There's only seven cell orders in the entire Egyptian market, which I believe is just my import route. Yeah. So the coal being produced in here is just not going to reach anywhere. I suppose... No, wait, there is pops there. Does it tell why there's no access? I don't know. Technically speaking, you should go through there, but maybe you just don't have the convoys. I don't know. Industrial barriers. Factories in Gondor have uh, been reported to be placing Oroma people into roles with incredibly poor work conditions, owing to their stages as second classes in Hejaz. This unequal treatment cannot stand. Although we're going to lose the Ulema's 10% uh, authority there, but it'll probably be fine. We're still improving relations with Britain. We do have a bit of extra infamy. Oh, France is damaging relations. All right. Well, let's just counterattack that. Oh, right, we can't actually improve relations with them yet. We need to wait for that to drop down a little bit. Now, to be fair, they probably have very strong military. We should probably try to go after this tech that we're getting. We should probably try to get the shrapnel artillery underway. So we just need to wait for the relations to drop down to 49 and then we can stop that. I think, yeah, we've got enough influence for that. But we couldn't do the... Oh, there we go. So we couldn't... Uh, do the independence war yet. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of ways for me to get that either. So you're... Egypt is rival to Ottomans, so getting Ottomans help would be something that we could do. Oh, right, we're paying weekly uh, war operations now as well. So it's... Um, tributary, I think that's like 20% and then 10% for war operations. So at least we're going to get another 11,000 once uh, that expires, which... Uh, when was that? That's after the truce ends. So, 1890. So we got another two years. Two and a half years ago. But with that, we are actually out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.